Hi guys, I'm God's Time. I'm Isaac. I'm Bolachi. Welcome to another episode of FK Podcast. Yeah, so I think they were just going to discuss like our projects that we've done over the years, the process to you know the fails, the successes and Successes and successes, sorry about that. Either way, yeah, whichever one it is, yeah, just to about that. And all the wonderful, you know, all the kind of things people do. Yeah, to and try to win contests because it's like, you know. Yeah, every experience that we've had so far in organizing projects and the, and the likes. We'll be sharing it today and we hope you learn from it and you don't repeat the mistakes you make. Because. Yeah, I even give you an idea to like. You can still repeat the mistakes you make. Contest. Let's have a state that you shouldn't do. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's do African proverbs. Yeah. What an elder sees sitting down. Is the elder now? Can't say that he has so many. Can't say that he has so many. So yeah. Let's go. Let's go. I think should we start with the project we organized in twenty twenty? You know, we started in December twenty twenty. It was basically trying to build the community, trying to like. Are you interested in this as to this? And then yeah. I think 2021 was when the yeah, when the contest actually like when we started how we started like the work really started. Yeah. So what was our first project? Probably explore. No, it's not Nigeria. 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 Oh, I remember. I think I remember. Well, well, yeah. at, it's just Sorry. four years ago. Yeah, no, three no, no, years ago. Yeah, it's really a long time now. It's really a long time now. It was in 2021. Yeah. That was the first time. I think that was the first time. Yeah, that was the first time. That was when we took the bold step for the very first African organizers to drive content inspiration on Wiki Boye Yanj. So it was fun, actually. Yeah, it was yeah, fun and it was challenging too. I thought that initially, no, initially it was fun. It was, it was, fun. It was as time went on and then you need more contests and they having people who really bring in some wonderful ways of contributing to contests. That was when it started becoming an issue with the yeah, issue, yeah. Initially it was just fun and it was, you know, just seeing how the way you organize the contest and then they create like 1,000 articles, 2,000 articles. Just for that contest, you feel so good. You feel fulfilled, like yeah. And, and you like think you think you are doing something good. Exactly. So initially, that feeling was. You feel like you feel like you are winning the ballot. Yes. Yes. Ballot deal. Yes. 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 I just go score. Yeah. Yeah. Meet the Messi or the Ronaldo. You can't explore Nigeria. I think you can't explore Nigeria about two times. No ones. Once. 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 Yeah. So, yeah, we did last year for so towards the yeah, Nigerian yeah. audience was yeah. this year was more was African wide yeah. African yeah. decided yeah. to take over yeah. the continent and yeah. Yeah. recently yeah. ended so Swahili, uh, yeah. Yeah. and then outside outside there's another one that's there's another language that was African that book was Swahili, Kenya, Uganda and Sweden. Is it that Spanish? Oh, I think Well, anyways, we made a lot of. Sorry, we had a lot of contributions in African languages. So yeah, again, and all these contests have also followed our thematic areas of thematic focus: sports, um, cultural heritage, tourism, African theater, which also was related to the cultural part where we. Oh, we also I think we partnered with Afro Sign. I think we forgot, Afro Afro I think yeah, we forgot to mention that twice. Sorry, I think 2021 and 2022, we organized uh, Afro Sign in Nigeria in yeah, partnership with the Afro Sign project. African cinema. I know. Movies it's been, it's been interesting so far. You know, writing people's stories, putting it on Wikipedia, yeah. and giving people the opportunity to also win amazing prizes. Yes, yeah. in, the, in, the, in, in dollars. That, that, that was fun. Why? I feel like it's even the Amazing prices that ended up ruining the course because right now we decided to like them take a pause, now, take a pause, pause process. And I feel like part of the problem was the prices brought up a lot of funny, funny individuals. Oh, like, funny! I think individuals. people were just trying. Individuals to, like, were trying to be funny. Just trying to be funny. Yes, trying and to game, game the system. Game not not yeah. only the system. Like trying to game everyone. Like some were trying to game. Some were like, trying. There was this guy. This recently, this contest we just finished, and then this guy was. Duplicating that, like, I don't know, like, 
Do you think you're going to be noticed? You know that kind of thing. You have one topic, and then it would create exactly the same particle, but then change the topic. It would be like, for example, let me use Isaac as an example. Is Isaac Lawrence in the lane? Yeah, Lawrence in the lane. No, that's personal. I need you. <laughs> that's personal. <laughs> Oh, His no. name is first time in Niger. So imagine I wanted to write an, exam, an article of first time. And then what he was doing was basically, I'll have the standard template of the article, I'll have the article box. So I'll have one type first time in Niger, Duff. First time in Niger, exact yeah. same article. First time, Duff. Exact, exact same, same article. article. Elijah, Duff. Maybe work exact same it. article. Yeah. Duff, Elijah, first time. Exactly. Like it, and he did have multiple types, multiple articles. Like, I don't understand. Like, what is wrong? Like, what, what was going through his mind when he, like, yeah, I feel like in that moment, I was so tempted to just find him wherever he is, go to wherever he is, and have him look me as, in the eye and tell yes, me exactly what was going mind when he was doing that. Because yeah. I don't get it. It was wise in his own eyes. That was not wise. That was incredibly <laughs> stupid. You know, there's some things wow. you can, there's some things you can just like say, okay, it's not a big thing. It's a mistake. You know, when people do things like they don't properly edit. I think we disqualified him. Yeah, we had to. We had to. We can't but, do that. Like, and some other people were just like, like they were just creating like I don't think of empty articles. They were just like that's another. It's another one which we will make the work easy for the jury. So when we see things like that, we just strike them out and their contributions and disqualify them from even future contests. Maybe or communicate to them what, yeah, what they did and let them know because sometimes these people in all honesty don't yeah, do anything wrong. They don't yeah, want. They don't want. That's why I said there that you can just you can let go and you can just explain to them that this is what and you can just sing me disqualify that at police or disqualify me that participant. That's there's some work. This one felt so intentional, you know. Yeah, well, maybe it was something like maybe you don't probably forget that you would say okay, or maybe it's a like, one mistake, one, one, just one of one yeah, of the. Yeah, I say okay, let's disqualify the article for the user. Let's yeah. let's count the other articles. Let's just disqualify this one article. But when you do something like this, it's like this it's is like intentional. Like, it's you like you know that they are not coming with the mindset that okay, they want to. They don't want to gain thirty-two game. articles so far. I would like not thirty-two duplicates. Thirty-two articles that were duplicated. Multiple times. Multiple, multiple times. times. Like, you know, for each of those two articles, I think the minimum some had two, but it was one that had about nine articles. Sorry, nine articles. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. That's bad. That's bad. Like, imagine. That's not what a knowledge advocate would do. Yeah, because it's, it's not actually contributing to knowledge, but it's just trying to. That's what I would call it vandalism. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that's actually that's that's just that. actually yeah, basically vandalism Wikipedia. I think maybe when organizing contests, people should actually communicate clearly to the users, to the participants of contests, and the rules, the expected behaviors, the minimum think, standards. I think another very thing well. is we have to like, do better, which is another thing you could learn from us. We have to do better about monitoring the edits right as they occur. You know, if In we real had time. been monitoring the edits, like immediately as we create yes, as if, we, if every day we're reviewing, we're reviewing how many articles have been created relating to the And trying to like see, okay, what are the this, content? Exactly, we would have caught this early on and been able to disqualify right from there. Right. Instead of now that he has created I don't so think many. disqualifying would be the would be the thing. Just maybe speaking yeah, to him, so trying, like to him trying to get him. Trying to, no, it's... <laughs> no, no, no. I, I would have that was intentional. That was intentional. There's, there's a mistake and there's an intentional yeah. edit. You know, that's like trying to destroct the reputation of exactly, the contest. Yeah. Of, the, of the contest, and then that's and they're making other participants if, if that, that work clean hard, work hard. Yeah. Or if we didn't catch it on time, and then we had already given out prizes and, and that would be on the fear, and, and that would be dense on our reputation. And 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 when other people now see that okay, this this, this, this was this, they'll try that they, again they will try they will they, they will also want in fact they will not only contest the prize they will like contest the everything they they will feel like we also. We had the hand in it by allowing yeah, such things to go. Our, our yeah, so like our reputation also. Learn from us. So, yeah, learn from us. Contributions like when they are going around, correct them and go to their talk page quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's for try to educate yeah, okay, them. Talk, 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 try, like, try to more educate than talk them. Page, you have to actually. That's why I think we should also like when you do this. We should also like collect the phone numbers of the participants because yeah, like, I feel I'll, like sometimes you know we not talk with this talk. Yeah, so they are beginners, like, new reach out, like, reach I think some people, some people don't even something. have the idea of how of how <laughs> talk 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 works. So they might page. just see that all, all those um, all those they don't know how to they don't know. But with the new UIs, that's... No, I feel like it's not just on the UI, you don't know what to do. You don't think you know you know think For example, if you post a message like that, you know what to reply. Ideally, I would need to tag you for you to get the notification. No, I think it's better now. Uh, no, no, I'm saying I would need to tag you, but the idea is if I just respond without tagging you. won't get the message. You won't get the message. So technically I've responded, but you get the message. If I don't know who's to tag you, 
That's true. Still, so I feel like you should still just believe them, but you just don't yeah. answer. Well, they may be trained them on some basics too, you know. If they do, no, we we'll always train them in basics. Every single contest, we have training before we start. Yeah, I mean, some people don't join. There's that. Yeah, that thing. It's not everybody that. Then we try to record that sessions. No, I'm not sure. Really watch it. People don't really watch that. Like, I don't yeah, maybe what we could do is have a multi-stage kind of contest when people sign up. That's stage one. There's stage two. You have to complete the training. Then stage three. Pass, yeah, the training. Pass, yeah, the training. pass a mini assessment. Show yeah, to show that okay, the level of understand. You don't understand why you participate. Yeah. Okay, okay. I feel like, yeah, that's because the person I think sometimes because also. of the price, people just want to skip every process. They just want to go okay, dive into editing and not knowing that they are they are committing vandalism in the process. They are trying to even know. They just want to. They win. just want to win. So okay. that's that's need. They need to win. Okay, you want? Ah, I need to it's win so this price. So just do everything. I, I discovered it's also the same category of people that always want to fight to win. It's okay. I don't give them the chop or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Voucher or something else. Like there are ones that come to your day but you don't have to the food understanding. Exactly, that you should give them the money and all of that. I feel like it's also the same thing that 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 the lies are doing this vicious thing. That's that's also. But you know, organizing a contest is actually fun. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's, it's fun. fun. It's, it's fun. fun. It's just I think it's so stressful sometimes. Those and uh, those um uh, those kind of um I think editors are just like few in nature, so we shouldn't make it uh look as if they are they are yeah. more they are the majority yeah, they are like the minority just, so yeah, they just want to show people that actually the same come. people no, no, that no, no, were no. not in the media movement before join yeah, contests yeah, contest, contest. develop interest and become yes, very and become active very, contributors and very, very active and proficient like and learn and learn about how it works i think maybe where we also try to get people to join we should make it in a way that people are ready to learn. Yeah, yeah they are inquisitive in nature. They want to know things. They want to understand how system works. And people who are ready, like who are ready to to contribute to open knowledge, not people that okay. I think the price should not be the, contest, the focus. Exactly. The focus. Which when is people why st- when people start focusing on the price, then issues. Yeah. The, yeah. For example, that's why I'm thinking for social contest. Probably we don't give out vouchers as prices anyway. We just do like we do like who swaps, who merch. That don't matter. I do need the money. You pay a lot of money to get. Yeah. We do this kind of swaps for you and it. Give those as prices instead of prices. I feel like we just kind of thing. people who are motivated to just a bit randomly just for the price yes. and less motivated. Even so, what you're getting is not. Money. It's, it's kind of not money. It has it's no kind of money to buy. Them, yes. so, is it to get anything else? To trade them, them from okay because once once you are in for the for yeah, the no. price then you, you just, just like, lose focus you just try <laughs> as much as no it's it's true you lose focus that. you just try to uh, as much as as you can just do what every anything that anything goes you just try as much as possible to to just keep the, your count going like, not knowing that it's not about the I am not to edit. Like that's where you must see there's people that have this their own method of editing. You know when I, I think in the in the people that like they how we are always trying to promote contributions in African languages. And then I guess some people that don't do this stuff when they go to English Wikipedia, just pick any as um, as use the translation tool. They don't but your translation tool is not perfect. It's yeah, going to give you it's yes, going to do something, but you still need to edit it, right? Yeah, and they just you just do that and they just add it. Just, like even with this last part is I have so many articles I still plan on going back to fix myself because there's so many people that they use the translation tool and you can put that fixing their references. Yes. Wow. So like the references are just either text or it's spread or just not it's not, it's not it's not linked because they didn't actually put it in the reference template. It's just pasted in link. Just copy, yeah, yeah. just like translate there are so and, many just, that, like, and just and just publish. I just wait for them to go and sit down and then just create it because it, it, it's like it's a thing of pride for me. It's our contest. We can't just Allow just people to allow people to just do anything and vandalize like, those trials. That's, that's, I feel like that's that, um, just a video of the Maybe we should do more of qualitative yeah. assessment, more than quantitative yeah. assessment. Yeah. I, yeah. Think, exactly. I think I qualitative think, you know, would be better. Yeah, they're doing a contest. We have to improve our skills instead of we don't want you to build your articles. Yes, so, I think just that's what's so. an existing article. Add a reference, add more text, add a new section, add a picture, add an info box. But we've yes. seen how people game that does too. It's yeah, not just no, like. People game that, but people I game feel like that was. That's at least, you know, at least for that one, it's a bit better. Yes, yeah, better. You be able to control, control, you know, control what's it's, it's happening. It's easier to create empty articles that, and new articles that don't make sense than it is to add value to an existing article. And we're going to check your edits. Uh, that's don't worry. That one we will sit down and do the jury. We like have a group of people, like enough people, then we'll plan it very well. So we would sit down and check your individual edits to see individual what you added. Mm. 
Yeah, the editing you did not edit. You did not edit. You see what you added in each edit. Since you've had some very I'm you've saying, seen stuff. People are frustrated <laughs> me, you know. And people are frustrated <laughs> no, me. They have like people can be frustrated. Like you go to point. I have to say that one thing that there was a time like before we started the organizing contest. I was okay. I've only participated in the contest to be fair, but still, even back then, I wasn't trying to do malicious edits. Like it was like okay, it was a contest, and it was fun that okay, there was a price to be won, but never did it occur to me to try to do malicious edits just to be the contest. It was never that deep. So why did they become that deep all of a sudden? Like first me. It's the situation of the I don't think it's more than that. I feel like it's more than that. I, I don't know. Like I also feel like people just want to win at any cost. Yeah, they need to win. And we need to reach the right audience. You know, it's very hard to try to convince someone who doesn't want to do the right thing. That just wants to win the yeah. money. Yes. Who are just in it for the price. Yes. When they so, come for the price. Yeah, when they are already. They are just all they do. All the only contributions are during contest. Just yeah. They contribute massively during the contest and then that's not bad. Don't, so, it's, it's not bad. I'm just saying like that there's some categories of editors are like that. Which is why I still think contests are good because they still drive a lot of contribution. Yeah. So yeah. I think we just it's have a motivation to, to yeah, we just have to streamline and better manage our contest. Program. I think maybe instead of just doing contest every year or every time, we break it into a challenge, into another form of Participation yeah. instead of just contest, we not get this, we not get that. You do this, you do that. Yeah, maybe we just do, we do something that maybe anybody that is able to do 500 edits gets the same. We do like maybe 50, 60, not just like 12, like, like 50, 60 swap yeah, packs. And just, then anybody who is able to reach maybe 500 edits, we get the swap pack. And then swap packs makes sense. That is that regression makes sense. It gives people a sense of belonging. Not like we are giving everybody medals, but. People are we are actually valuing the contributions of people yeah. that oh, we are doing this and it's all quality contributions, quality like mm-hmm. emphasis on the quality, quality yeah. not just a hazard or something that is not useful to the reader, affects how people perceive Wikipedia and Wikipedia. Yeah, I remember then there was someone that they had to block for one day. They sent stop big messages. She was just copying and pasting. And then when you reached out, to, when we reached yeah, out to her, she was angry. She was this. She was complaining. I feel like I don't know. I just feel like we need to reach the right audience. Not everybody can contribute properly. Not everybody should. So I still believe we should be rev- we should be reviewing people before they participate in the contest. Yes. You know, Wiki is open and all to contribution, yeah. but then we should can still. I feel like when that might that might like knock um, out to it. How do we verify it was that you can they are going to contribute in a meaningful way? You can do it in like a three months contest, not just one month. The first month is for learning and training. So people who actually go through it, that means they actually have desire to, desire to win learn. it and to learn to win. It's not bad to want to win prizes actually. That's the goal of the contest. But if we have people so if people know that this is what we are going to do, not just that you sign up and then you do whatever you want to do. They will do it and they will win it. And then I've seen pri- contests that give way less prizes than what our contests give sometimes. Yeah, and then people we still. Yeah, we could do that too. But then we could make it for people who have the intention to contribute, to reach knowledge gap. You can just do a survey to sign up. We let them know. So from their responses, we know more people who actually want to, who actually want to participate, participate because of contribution to knowledge and not just. You can put questions like, I just want the money. I don't care what it takes. I will win. You can put things like that. So I will know how to filter out people and get yes. people with the right perspective and mindset on meaningful contributions. Well, let's talk about a lot of things. Okay, sir. What was the other stuff? Yeah. Our open club cafe notes. Yeah, Two states. Yeah, we had people from all over the world. We had people from Europe, from Asia from like, from Africa and then we actually celebrate we're like one of the few organizations who have celebrated the public domain date. It's first of January. Yeah, first, first of, of January. January. But I think we did it January 15, 2022. Yeah, we had to move it because of New Year, the whole rice and chicken, not yeah, so Yes. We raised awareness about it. We had a very insightful webinar. You can watch the video on our YouTube channel to catch up and then talk about what the public domain is just go to our youtube channel yeah subscribe subscribe to our youtube channel please, please, and watch all our videos like them like you learn a lot actually knowledge is key free knowledge africa on youtube
Yeah, so. <laughs> but you can see the continent, yeah, the map. Yeah. So, I think we've we've tried a lot of. Yeah, that is still in the works. Yeah, that's that's the the yeah. yeah. That's and we need your support on that. We need your yes, support yes. actually because we have a lot of works, books, pictures, things that and um, lots of that in the public domain, in people's house itself. I mean, Maybe we should even do a social media challenge for public domain. Yeah, we might. We think about that. Yeah, like yeah. we need yeah. your listeners, like yeah, yes, so you can send us your yes, comments yes, so yes. to see if you want like you like that. You like the idea, so because all this knowledge are wasting, you. you might not need it, but there might just be someone that needs need it this. to someone. do something that will lead to something that is big or it might not even be big, but for knowledge's sake. I feel like that's, I think that's, that's another discussion. There's the books just for me to read. I feel like that's another book. Oh, that's a whole terrain on its own. We'll do another episode on that. But then, yeah, those are some of our projects. We also done the sports symposium as well. Yeah, yeah. that's. So from the African football, um, and someone from the N N F F Nigeria Football Federation, sports yeah. writer. We have the sports writer, and then the sports journalist, yes. where we talk about ideas of our Af- African sports museum, museum yeah. whereby we can archive web pages of content on sport. Because over time, you know, um, knowledge, information, there's still the digital divide in Africa is still very strong, it's still very yeah. wide. Lots of people offline, and some people even trying to do this thing. So, that's some time their websites go offline, they don't renew their hosting and domain renewal. I don't know what you're looking at me, it just needs just to pay that says, buy this domain alone. So, it could lead an initi- initiative to archive some of this content so that it's always available. And people can always people can easily access it. Access it. It might not be the big platform, it might not be yeah, Spa Sports, it might not be um, Sky Sports. Yeah, sports. yeah, because knowledge are in these places and there is, you can aggregate it together in a place. So that people can access it. There are even so many, there are so many projects already posting in the Kaimengi YouTube website. So people can access it in the most definitely. Yeah, and then it's just some of these things are things we've just tried and tested and tried to see what what impact we can make, what contribution we can make to the knowledge knowledge in Africa by okay. Africans. We didn't just pass to me. We've left a lot So if you need support, um, yeah, reach out to us. Reach out to us. We have a lot of no, a lot, lot of experiences to share. Yeah, in this video, yeah, so we Shoot us, a, shoot us an email yes, so you can nice reach us, just, reach us, us. I am just, we might even be our Wikimedia media or anything. Yeah, any kind yeah. of honest, sorry, honest, honest. We've done a lot, we've done a lot. Like, like, I mean, we, we tried to draw multiple countries, and that was another challenge. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, another challenge. Time zone was like the logistics and everything. I don't even logistics. It was one person. I remember we actually sent a message on the other video, and then they did respond. Yet later, they reached out to us complaining that we didn't reach out to them when we wanted to be a contest that focuses on the language they do. Yeah. One of those things. One of those things. So, don't worry, you have a lot of experience. And, the, and then we just got that uh, Africa is not yet very integrated. Like, yeah. we wanted to support some partners with internet so that they could participate. Sending them internet was another one. And then send, from from them, so trying like, to buy from data from, from Nigeria to uh, Mozambique or Rwanda was a bit. Those are some of our struggles. That was another pairing for us. Continental contest, like people from different continents. But then we've learned a lot about Africa and Russia. So, you know, I've learned a lot of. I've seen new languages I, I didn't know before. And then, you know, just learning about Africa, I thought that's also been an advantage of all of this. Yeah. I love Africa. Yeah, so reach out to us if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye bye. We love you.